Hello everyone. I was going to do a video about chanters this month, but as you're about to see, something really fun and unexpected came up. So I hope you enjoy this uh, next video and we'll get back on track with the chanter next time. Hi everyone and welcome back to my Dave the Piper series. I'll bet if you're old enough, you recognize that tune. It's from uh, Gilligan's Island, of course. As you can see, I'm not wearing my Dave the Piper t-shirt today, but rather McCallum bagpipes. No, this is not a paid advertisement by McCallum. I'm just a real enthusiast. My Highland pipes, my real pipes, my small pipes and all their varieties all come from the McCallum company in Kilmarnock, Scotland. And I had the great privilege last month of visiting and spending time in Scotland in and around the Glasgow area and I had the privilege of one day just hopping in my car and driving to Kilmarnock. My notion on going to the McCallum company was simply to pick up a few little accessories for my small pipes and kind of have an adventure, find out where my bagpipes were made. What I wasn't expecting was to meet with a very fine a gentleman who spent the next three hours and gave me a three-hour tour. His name was Andy Bell and he is an employee of the Kilmarnock company and he was kind enough to basically just walk around with me for three hours. It was seeing the shop, it was meeting the employees, there are about 40 employees and I was back in all the inner workings of how they make their bagpipes. Man, it was so exciting. And I certainly wasn't expecting this kind of VIP treatment from them, especially on no notice. I mean, I hadn't called him. I simply had my bagpipes with me. And when he found out that I was an enthusiast of, uh, and a user of McCallum pipes, come in in the back works and see, it, see what it was all about. So over the next few minutes, I'm just gonna share some of the photographs and video clips that I took while I was in the factory. Uh, Andy and the uh, CEO or the, the founder of the company, Stuart McCallum, uh, gave me permission to use these images and videos and I just want to say a big thank you to them for their generosity and their educating me in how they go about uh, making the pipes. It was so cool to walk around the factory. They're making everything from Highland bag pipes to their small pipes and their real pipes or border pipes in collaboration with Fred Morrison, the world famous piper. And they're even now branching out and making Irish Illin pipes too. And I had such a great time. I spent about 30 or 40 minutes talking with their master craftsman who fabricates by hand every set of Illin pipes they make. I arrived at the factory. You walk through the main entrance and there's a beautiful shop there. They also sell kilts. Uh, they sell all types of bagpipes there and accessories. This very nice lady came out to me and asked me how she, how she could help me. And so, well, I'm actually looking for a, a couple of spare drone plugs for my small pipes. And so she said, well, let me find somebody to help you. Well, out came Andy Bell. And when I told him why I was there and what I was doing, he said, well, would you like a tour of the factory? And so that's where it all started. I said, look, I'm, I, I do a YouTube video. Would you mind if I featured some of this on my video? And he, he said, no, absolutely. That would be great. So I got to see everything from where their uh, African blackwood blocks come in from their supplier in Tanzania, Africa, into the factory. And then they have everything from uh, robots to do the initial lathing to computer controlled etching and engraving of the aluminum ferrules and ring caps and all the different metal pieces of the bagpipes. They have about 40 employees who are hand crafting the, the pieces and applying oil to them. You know, one of the really cool is that they don't stain this wood at all. They apply a protective oil to it, but the color of this is, is all natural African blackwood. I also learned that the ring caps and everything are made of aluminum so they don't tarnish. You can get them in silver, but it's a lot more expensive. I, it was just wonderful to walk around and I even got to meet another employee in the uh, shipping room, you know, packaging up pipes and they, they ship them all around the world. It was just so exciting. So Stuart asked me, so what type of pipes do you play? And I told him the Highlands and the real pipes and all that. And he, and he asked for my feedback. So I said, well, 
I really enjoy the real pipes. It was a little bit harder for me to get used to than I thought. I'm slowly getting used to the bellows on all of these instruments. And I really love the AD combo small pipes. And then he goes, well, yeah, but the de-chanter is very small, isn't it? This is the de-chanter right there. It's a little tiny one. And he said, yeah, it's kind of hard because the hole spacing is so small for your fingers, right? And I said, yeah, thank you, I have thin fingers. And then he goes, well, you know, we just started making small pipes in the key of C also. So because it's a, a whole note lower, the hole spacing is a little bit farther apart. Here, I'll show you. This is so exciting to me. Here's the de-chanter. And then you can see the C chanter right here. So it's a little bit longer and the holes are a little bit farther apart. So it's just easier. So it still has that nice, bright, happy sound of the D, D pipes, just different key. And hopefully it'll be something that my band Alba Fire can uh, adapt to pretty quickly. Bottom line is that by the time it was all over, I had bought uh, the drone stocks in the chanter so that I could plug these into my pipes. And I now have a set of McCallum small pipes in the key of C also. And if you look at these, these drones, there are only three drones. And because there are only three instead of the four, it has a lever here where I can, just like on Irish pipes, I can turn off the drones or turn them on just with a flip of the switch. If you go to Scotland and you're a piper, I urge you to go visit them. Give a big shout out to Andy and Stuart and all the men and women of the McCallum Bagpipe Company in Kilmarnock, Scotland. It was really fun talking with you and meeting you all. And I'll give you a quick demonstration on the McCallum small pipes in C. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video when I talk about chanters. Hey, I'm standing here in McCallum Bagpipes in, uh, in Kilmarnock, Scotland with Andy Bell of McCallum Pipes. He makes all of the uh, bellows uh, and has just sold me a new set of uh, Small pipes in C. I'm really looking forward to hearing, uh, playing these in the band, in our band. So, uh, Andy, do you have anything you want to tell tell our listeners? I'm just glad you've enjoyed your tour and you've just walked away with an instrument. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate it. No problem at all.